That was an 8 Pro cup you just saw there. And I started using clear cups just to film with, just strictly to film video with because it helps us all see better, better arc shots. We learn more. But I learned pretty quick that not only does it help film better, it helps me see better. I'm in my 60s now. My eyes are not the same as they were in my 20s. I wear glasses, I use a cheater lens. I could use a little more help sometimes. This is about 100 amps, just running a bead on a piece of round stock, a piece of stainless round stock. So what I'm gonna show you right now though is using a regular ceramic cup on an aluminum outside corner joint. First off, I'll run this joint using a stubby gas lens. I really like the stubby gas lens hardware on a 17 torch, just feels better to me. And it'll do a mighty fine job. It's just, what we're talking about now is just that added little bit of extra light that we might get with a clear cup. Now I've got the electrode extended here a good bit farther than I would normally, just so the cup wouldn't be in the way of the camera. But that did a pretty good job. No real complaints there. Now let's take a look at the arc shot here with the clear cup. It's just a little clearer. There's just a little more detail you can see. It lights things up around the joint. I can see about an inch further ahead of me where I need to go. And that's really the difference. All right, here we are back to back. We'll show the stubby gas lens ceramic cup. Again, with a little, little longer than normal stick out. But my stick out here is pretty long too. And there's just a difference in the crispness the detail that you see. It's not like night and day, but it is like somebody dimming the lights on you when you go back to using a ceramic cup. It's literally like a light bulb. Tungsten up inside a clear cup. That's a light bulb. I must have shot at least 20 or 25 videos using this cup, so I've got a lot of clips. And I'm going to show you some of them today. This is a lap joint. And I'm about at 125 to 140 amps here. This is an eighth inch thick aluminum. And it had a peel coat on it, and I wiped it down with acetone. And, you know, clean, brand new aluminum is just, it's just fun to weld, isn't it? Here I'm swirling the arc at the end to try not to leave any little crater crack. And I'm noticing a little, a few little pores try to pop up. Even as clean as this was, sometimes that happens. All right, notice this shot now. Notice how the, the clear cup lights everything up. I can see beads all around the puddle. I can still see the puddle and what I need to see. I can look through the cup if I need to look through the cup. That's important sometimes, but that's usually not required. It's just an added benefit of being able to look through the cup. And here's what I mean by that. Sometimes you got to weld up in some little tight nook like this, and being able to see through the cup is a, is a pretty big benefit sometimes. I mean, it's kind of rare when you absolutely need to see through the cup, but when you need it you need it let's look at some 11 gauge steel now on an outside corner joint we're going to show lots of different joints in this video an outside corner joint is one of the most common joints also one of the most fun to weld there are the settings you can you can pause or rewind and look and see but I'm just trying to flow that puddle out to just barely wrap the corners there the next shot coming up is a lap joint, and this one will really illustrate, you know, how well the cup lights things up. This is a little trailing shot here, just because I think it's pretty cool to watch. But now you can see the shot kind of like you were looking over my shoulder. And I'm seeing like a full inch of where I need to go. I can see even scratches on the metal from a grinder from cleaning it up. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm in my 60s. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. It really does help. When I was in the aerospace industry, this was a pretty common test. 3G plate test on 063 aluminum in a fixture like that. There are some sample settings. And you can see that the, the tungsten glowing up inside that cup, just kind of lighting up the area around it. Now normally I would drop down to a 116th electrode with a 116th filler for this joint if it was an actual test, but I'm trying to use a little bit bigger stuff here be a little bit more realistic for what me, most people do every day. So I'm using a 332 electrode and a 332 rod. And it came out okay. This is a 11 gauge outside corner joint. 105 to 115 amps. And here is, here's an example of being able to look through the cup. If you just can't get your head in the right place, that can really help sometimes. Here's a shot of when I visited Mike Zancanato, a bike builder, and he was welding an aluminum frame. This is a really good example of being able to look through the cup.
Here's an example of using something they called advanced pulse. Doing a quarter inch lap joint where the, the machine pulses between AC and DC electrode negative for extra heat input and penetration. This is an 18 gauge lap joint and sometimes you know on steel at, at fairly low amperage the arc doesn't give off all that much light. It's kind of hard to see where you're going. That's where a clear 8 cup can really come in handy. It, it also shields really well. Gives you some really good shielding on your bead. I hardly ever leave the wire in the puddle on aluminum. But here's one instance that I found it works pretty good. I used 180 amps peak, 1.5 pulses a second, 33% peak, 33% background. You need more amperage when you pulse because you get an average of the low and the high pulse. I'm just leaving that big 1 8 rod in there because I had a little gap on this outside corner joint and just running along pulsing right over it. Like I said, I hardly ever do that. So here's a clip of that same cube with a joint with no gap in it where I'm just dabbing the filler wire in there, a 332 filler wire instead of a 1 8 and just here's some good clarity here with that uh, cup lighting things up. And again, a swirl to avoid a crater crack. And that's as I taper off amperage. And if you don't do that, if you just let off amperage suddenly, sometimes you will have a crater crack. And if it's a expansion tank, a cooling reservoir or something, it's going to leak. Just some shots of a, of a sort of a practice aluminum drill that I shot. I just thought they were some really detailed shots, especially this one right here. I mean, that's an example of just how well this cup lights stuff up. The rest of this video is some information on what kind of hardware you might need, depending on what kind of torch you have, so you make sure you get the right stuff so an 8-cup will work. When you're looking to upgrade from the standard hardware that comes with most TIG torches, maybe to something like this, a Furic 8 Pro Cup, you want to be sure that it will fit your particular torch. Well, fortunately, there's a pretty easy way to tell. These are all 17, 18, and 26 style torches various different manufacturers but the one way to tell is if your hardware looks like this where your collet body is almost two inches long you have a 17 18 or 26 style torch could be any of them doesn't really matter this furic adapter kit for 17 18 26 style torches will make the furic cups work with your torch if that's what you have that's another picture of it there it's got two black insulators that come with it slightly different one of them will fit now there's nothing really wrong with the standard hardware that comes with them. It's a bit long. The, the long tail is a bit long for real work. It's good for practice. Even when you shorten it up with a little button on the end, it's, it's, you can only shorten it up so much. But to get better gas shielding as well as just shorten up the overall length of the torch, it really helps to use this adapter kit. And once you have the adapter kit, it opens up a lot of possibilities for using all kinds of different hardware, all kinds of different Furic cups and monster size cups gas lens cups, clear cups, all kinds of things. This is an 8 Pro cup here. It's one of my favorite cups for just all around AC and DC work. And you can see it shrinks it quite a bit where you can get in some tight areas like up inside some square tubing or things like that where you might have to reach. 9 and 20 style torches are a little bit smaller. They use a smaller collet body, not even an inch long. So if your hardware looks like this, you've got a 9 or a 20 style TIG torch. Could be air cooled, could be water cooled. They both use the same hardware. The good thing about these torches is all you need to make the Furic cups work is this one little gas lens here. Here they are side by side, the standard collet body with the gas lens. And that is a part number 45V44 if you're getting the 332 size. They're typically sold in two packs. You can choose any size with the Furic 8 cup I recommend a 332 as an all-around size. You can weld anything from razor blades to fairly thick aluminum with a 332 electrode at 200 amps. So you put the O-ring on the base of the gas lens and that lets the number 8 clear pro cup just slide right on there. And you're going to see lots of benefits, one of which is just much better gas shielding. The other thing that I really noticed is it just lights everything up way better for me, helps me see where I'm going helps me stay on track. To make things easy, I also put together a couple of combo kits where you can get a clear cup as well as a pink ceramic alumina cup. 
There's a kit for 17, 18, 26 style torches and a kit for 9, 20 style torches just to make things convenient. All you need to do to swap cups is just remove the O-ring and then you can put an alumina style cup on there when you need that. Now once you have the right hardware for your torch it opens up a lot of options for both clear cups as well as ceramic cups. The clear ones will just slide on like this clear Jazzy 10 and you can see that the gas coverage envelope there is just much larger than what you would get off a standard collet body. Your visibility is going to improve. You'll see way ahead of where you're going and behind. It just lights things up. It's like a light bulb. That's a, just, it's a tungsten up inside a clear cup, so it really is just like a light bulb. The ceramic cups just remove the O-ring and they'll all fit on there too. So it, again, it really opens up the possibilities for you. Just getting the adapter kit or the 45V44, depending on which torch you have. So once again, if you're if your hardware looks like this, you have a 17, 18, 26 style and you need a Furic adapter kit to make the Furic cups work. If your hardware looks like this, you have a 9, 20 style and all you need is the 45V44 to make it work. And again, for convenience, once you know what style torch you have, you can just select one of these combo kits and that will open up a lot of options for you. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.